They're also seeing a rotation in hiring with medical and healthcare overtaking architecture and engineering as the most in-demand jobs. Joining us now with more is Evan Sony, is the chairman and CEO of Recruiter.com. Welcome back, Evan. So we, we tried to summarize it. You can do it better than we can. What are the macro drop job trends that you're seeing now? Uh, so, Brian, thanks for having me back. Uh, always a pleasure to be here. Uh, look, we're seeing recruiters go where the jobs are. And we saw, as you, report, as you just said, healthcare uh, really spiked this past month. Um, a high of 22% of the recruiters rep reported that healthcare was really their number one industry segment. Um, you know, healthcare uh, typically is less affected by recession. It's harder to recruit for because they are mostly in person related. Um, and I think the candidate sentiment for healthcare jobs are also improving. Uh, we've partnered with uh, a top resume has a top as a candidate index. And while uh, optimism is low for job seekers looking for jobs, it's the lowest it's been since they started this in April 21, the healthcare candidates are actually 13% higher. So you're seeing the candidate sentiment for healthcare jobs higher, and then the recruiters focused on those jobs as well. Okay, so somebody out there watching is thinking about changing jobs, changing careers. They've known, because they're talking to friends. You know what those friends are saying, Evan? Man, I, I changed companies. I got the same job, and I'm making 15 to 20 percent more. Is right. that slowing down, or are people still getting yeah. big jumps in pay by jumping companies? So, interestingly enough, the recruiter index reported that about 50 percent of the recruiters reported the salary stayed the same, 55 percent. But that still means that the other 45 percent reported increases in salaries. Uh, so there is a reason uh, to leave uh, a job uh, for, for more money. I think what you're also seeing is a little bit of a slow up there in terms of people leaving. And we're hearing this anecdotally, and maybe because they actually already left. Uh, we're seeing uh, people left uh, two jobs, three jobs in the past year. Maybe they're going to be a little bit more reluctant. You know, when you looked at the jolt numbers, what you saw last month in September 22 over 21 uh, there were 7% fewer quitting and 7% fewer hiring September 22 over September 21. When you look at the October numbers, it was 3% less quitting than October 21, but 8% less hiring than October 21. Uh, so we're certainly seeing that discrepancy there, maybe with all the layoffs that we're seeing, and recruiters are getting laid off 8% uh, more uh, than all other job types. And that was with our partnership with uh, Revelio Labs reported that information. Yeah, I just there was just a headline that crossed on my screen here literally moments ago that Wells Fargo is going to lay off or has laid off a couple hundred more people in its mortgage division. I got to imagine that that the real estate side of everything right now has got to be spectacularly weak. Yeah, so uh, we, we uh, in, in our index, we recruited some uh, included some of the, what industries are or who's next uh, really in the overall layoffs and certainly tech and software represent now in the reported numbers about 25% of the layoffs, but second to there uh, and quickly upcoming is really the real estate section. And that's uh, leasing and real estate uh, are, are quickly coming up there in terms of that net, next industry for layoffs. Evan Sohn, Recruiter.com, always great insight. Really appreciate it. And uh, the job's number tomorrow. Evan, thank you so much.